What is happening all you sexy YouTube warriors out there? Range Day Bro back at it again and today we're gonna be talking about something I wish I didn't have to talk about which is the new ATF pistol brace ruling. Let's get into it. All right guys, so as always, I'd like to start these videos out on a positive note. We are peaceful warriors, guys. We all know what these things are capable of and what they're here for. They're here to uphold freedom, but we are peaceful warriors. It's peace and love always first, guys. I know you guys have it in you get out there and hug some people and, and spread the good word. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna to be talking about the ATF pistol brace ruling, a topic I wish we didn't have to discuss because the Second Amendment was pretty clear when it said, shall not be infringed. Uh, but the ATF, again, they have their own rulemaking capabilities and they like to exercise those rules and ruin people's lives for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So if you guys don't follow the news much, especially the 2A news, I know it's a lot to keep up with because the ATF constantly changes their mind, then you may or may not be committing a felony right now just by possessing something that you were legally allowed to buy for over 10 years. If you have been following the news and you're probably pretty familiar with the ATF pistol brace ruling, which pretty much just the ATF came out of nowhere and changed their mind and made a new rule stating that pistol stabilizing brace Races are no longer legal and that if you possess a AR pistol it is you are now in possession of an illegal SBR which is punishable by 10 to 15 years in prison and two hundred fifty thousand dollars fine as well as becoming a felon and forever losing your right to the Second Amendment and defending yourself so it's no surprise to you guys who've watched my channel over the years I am NOT a fan of the ATF I believe they're a rogue agency that they make rules uh, and ruin people's lives one thing I do just want to mention uh, because I think it's really important Matt over at CRS firearms is sitting Sitting currently in a prison cell because of an auto key card that he advertised on his videos. I don't know all the details. I don't know Matt personally, but I do think it's a horrible injustice and I want to raise some awareness about it. Again, I'm not following the case super close. I'm not super close to him. I don't know him at all. But I do feel as, as a free American, there was an injustice done to him and the owner of the auto key card because if you look at the definition of a machine gun and what he got slapped for, uh, for selling machine guns, the definition is very clear and what he was doing was not selling machine guns whatsoever and neither was the product a machine gun. It was just the tr the outline of a machine gun on a piece of steel. He's sitting in a jail cell right now because the ATF wanted to make an example out of him and I just think that's absolutely fucked up and wrong. Being a freedom loving American, somebody who, again, it's bullshit because I also believe the NFA is bullshit and that regular everyday civilians should be able to have machine guns. So that's my opinion. So it's, it's all bullshit that machine guns are even illegal. Even if he had and been selling uh, machine guns, I don't think that should even be a crime, but that's my stance on that. I wanted to just shed some light on that. If there's, if there's anything you guys can do to help their family, um, I'm just sending my thoughts and prayers out to him and his family that they can get through this time. With that being said, let's move on to the ATF pistol brace ruling. We see it time and time again, the ATF oversteps, they make a new rule and overnight like that make 40 million Americans, upwards of 40 million Americans who own these pistol braces uh, felons overnight for not complying and destroying their legally acquired and owned property. So there are there is some good news on the horizon. Um, if you guys follow the FPC or the Gun Owners of America, those are two organizations I really encourage you guys to support in any way that you can. I know you shouldn't have to pay for your right to own a short barrel rifle or a pistol in this case. The short barrel rifle shouldn't even be a thing. So I'll stop trying to revisit that subject. The NFA should be abolished altogether. Uh, however, the law is what it is today and the ATF is a real agency with real guns and with real funding from the federal government. So uh, it's very real the the pain they can inflict on your family as they did with Matt from CRS to make an example of him. So I don't encourage anybody to break the law or blatantly go against the ruling, uh, but I'm not an attorney. This is not legal advice. However, I know in my heart of hearts what I believe in and I know a lot of you guys believe in the same thing. But I did just want to shed some light on the good news from the GOA and the FPC. They have been granted a temporary injunction. What is the definition of injunction? Just want to make sure I get this right. So there you go. That's the definition of an injunction. I wasn't sure I've been hearing that word being thrown around. So I just wanted to actually hear the definition. It sounds like a temporary court order in order to tell the ATF to stop or they're not allowed to enforce this uh, pistol brace ruling. So I'm gonna read you guys a picture that GOA posted uh, kind of describing what the injunction is and what it means. After a month's long battle between the federal government, Gunners of America secured one such preliminary injunction in Texas versus Garland, preventing the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives, the ATF, from prosecuting any GOA members under this new rule. Any GOA members, current, past, I'm not really sure what that means. It is a promising thing. I know, again, once again, I'm a GOA member, easy for me to say sitting here, but I do encourage you guys to join those, those organizations because again, ATF's real 
and these infringements are real. So they're the ones that are fighting good fight, actual attorneys. I'm not an attorney. So I do encourage you to do that. I get where people are coming from. Why, why is it like, oh, you're kind of blackmailing us into joining the GOA or the FBC? I don't see it that way. But even though the injunctions are not nationwide, it is now nearly impossible for ATF to differentiate the pistol owners they can prosecute from Gun Owners of America members and other protected persons. They said they're not satisfied with this injunction and they had argued for a nationwide injunction, but the courts refused and only granted limited relief to its members. So they've tried, essentially, you know, A for effort for them trying to get uh, this injunction for the entire United States, every single pistol brace owner out there, but they were only granted it for their current members or their members. So still a silver lining and, and in their opinion, it's gonna make it hard for the ATF to prosecute anybody. Uh, with that being said, I did just wanna pass this good news along to you guys and kind of have an update for you guys. And for those of you who don't really know what the situation is with your pistols, uh, we heard the ATF director, I don't even wanna say his name. He's, these guys are complete clowns. He has no idea what he's talking about with firearms. So take it with a grain of salt. But he did say if you detach the brace from the pistol, you can possess the brace and the firearm. He did say that in front of Congress uh, on the record, I assume. So there also can be detachment. So in other Are words, we don't count. We don't. It, that's not for us to regulate. If somebody simply we wrote the rule to make it easy to comply with. If somebody just at their home detaches the weapon from the brace and keeps them apart, uh, they do not have to register anything. They can keep the brace. They can keep the business end of the gun. Okay, that, that's a great clarification. So you're not going to do some kind of constructive uh, prosecution where you say, oh, you had this and you had that and you intended to connect they're keeping them. The, I mean, they can just keep them separately. Attaching them as we, as keep we them approach separately. them. But it's, okay, and, because and, that's and, not clear in your rules. Um, with that being said, I, have my, I still have my AK pistol, as you guys can see here. No brace attached, so this is a legal AK pistol. Uh, according to Dettelbach or whatever the hell his name is. This is legal to own and possess and I can have it even though it's completely useless and inaccurate. It's nothing more than a range toy as it sits, but it's still legal to own. You don't have to destroy your braces as far as he said. Again, not legal advice. I would just store them in a place that's away from your other firearms, not in the same safe for instance, just to be extra careful because you never know. The ATF might change their mind again, even though the director said it there in front of Congress. So that's not for us to regulate. Again, so sorry to be bringing this shitty news to you guys, but it's the reality that we live in in 2023. I am blessed to be an American. However, it, it's it, the fight for the Second Amendment and fight for freedom is far from over. So continue to support those GOA and FBC and all those organizations that fight for our rights. Do your part by spreading the word and trying to bring more people into the community. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and staying to the end of the video. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you are, just make sure you are because people get unsubscribed uh, surprisingly often. So share it if you can with, uh, with friends who may own a pistol brace. This may be some good news to them or they may not have heard of this at all. So until next time, stay safe, stay dangerous. Range Day Bro, out.